Today we're going to talk about AC wiring in rooms and our question comes from Fred in Toronto, Canada. Fred asks, um, I know you pay a particular attention to designing the power supplies of your components, which is true. I, I believe, well, I believe that amplifiers are actually modulated power supplies rather than the other way around modulated amplifiers fed by a power supply. But that's me, and I believe very strongly in the importance of, of, of a good power supply. I've watched your YouTube series in the Building of Audio Room 1, and a few, on a few occasions you talk about the electrical supply being separate from the main electrical box, but you never really expand on that part. Give us a breakdown of what you'd like to see for an optimal behind-the-wall socket setup for an audio room. Another excellent question. Yay! I am so thrilled that people ask these great, great questions, and I, I am delighted to, to share whatever drivels of, of wisdom that I can offer. Music Room 1 that you refer to is wired in what I refer to as a star wiring uh, process. And, and so let me explain what that is. Another way, uh, separate home runs, um, what else? Uh, I think there's another name for it. Um, but uh, each individual AC socket in Music Room 1 has its own Romex 10-gauge wire heading back to a common breaker box. So Every single one is in a completely independent line that all comes back, kind of like a star. If, you, if, you, if, if this were a star, this is one of the AC lines, and this is another of the AC lines, etc. And they all merge at this point together and are fed from a central point or breaker box. Now, the reason we want to do that is because if we do what houses normally have, which is... Here, here's our breaker box, and we've got a long cable, and along there, here's one outlet, and another outlet, and another outlet, and you've seen this in your home. If you, if you blow a breaker, or you uh, hit a GFI box, or something, a number of things in the house, the whole circuit will shut off, like all the lights in the living room, or maybe all the plugs in your bathroom, right? So they'll shut off. That's because they all share one wire. It's just daisy-chained, one after another. That's fine if you're going to be running shavers and bathroom heaters and, and whatnot. It's not a good idea when you want to have an audio system. And the reason is cables are, power cables are just wire. And wire has resistance. And as you draw current, the wire is being modulated. The power on the wire is being modulated. And if you have a number of pieces of gear, like big power amps and projectors and things that are all on the same circuit, as they draw current and as they modulate that current, that's going to be fed back into the other equipment. Not only that, but the grounds are uh, also in, in, in a three-pronged plug, which we have in America, and we actually have in other parts of the world too, but you just don't see it. Like the round shuko on the outside, there's a there's a ground pin, but it only has two. And then the the UK has three. I think the Australian only has two, if I remember right. But in any case, um, we all somehow are connecting up to ground. And when that ground is shared, whatever noise from our equipment gets involved with the other noise, and so. Um, you, you don't want this party line effect when you plug things in. You don't want to share the ground and you don't want to share the power with other equipment. So the most ideal situation is to have separate home runs so that every single AC outlet has its own wire going back to either a common circuit breaker or several circuit breakers at, at, at the main point in the breaker box. Or like in Music Room 1, we have a separate breaker box that's just for the music room and then a big heavy cable the electrician wired to the main breaker box. But you don't have to go to all of that. So that's really, in its simplest form, the best way to wire a music room or a home theater if you can. And I, you can do it yourself. I mean, wiring's not that difficult. Just be careful. And uh, I actually hired an electrician. He came in and did all the work for us, so it's all done up to code. And, 
We use um, oversized wire. Everything we do is 10 gauge. We use our power port AC receptacles. And all of that's important, but most important, separate wiring. Hope that helps. Good luck with your project. Thanks. Bye-bye.